Hello, and thanks for joining uh, pg and &E's Standard Tools Calculation for uh, HVAC Tool. My name is Brian Ambrosini, and um, I will be uh, leading you through the introduction of this pg and &E HVAC Tool with the help of Melina from Nexon. So the learning objective for the HVAC Tool is uh, for engineers, trade allies, implementers, third-party um, engineers that are working on custom energy savings calculations to be able to model uh, retro commissioning and retrofit measures in this tool for HVAC systems. Our target audience is uh, engineers that have a uh, basic to expert understanding of HVAC systems and processes. And the, the type of equipment that uh, the tool covers are air handler units, uh, chillers and the chill water system pumps, and also boilers and hot water uh, system pumps. And the tool has been um, architecturally designed so that you have different tabs for, these, uh, for each of these equipment. There are around 27 measures that uh, the tool can can um, can calculate energy savings for. Uh, we have um, we have listed all the measures here for RCX based on the different uh, tabs that the calculator uses. So we have an air side system, chill water system, and a hot water system tab. And then these are all the measures that each of the tabs can calculate. We also the tool can also calculate uh, savings for retrofit measures, some of those that are not eligible for incentives, but some of our customers might want to uh, see if, um, investigate if they will be willing to, to re retrofit some of their uh, equipment. So we have uh, high efficiency air cooled units for retrofit, air side system upgrades uh, related to BAVs, and also high efficiency water cooled units. And just a little introduction about the tool. We will be showing some examples later, but um, there are three, four tabs that we will be looking at um, in the in the tool. Some are just customer general information, and some are more related to the uh, to the equipment. Each of the each of the tabs have uh, cells that they are colored based on um, based on the based on the requirement for that cell. So any cells that are green, are, they are showing baseline operation. And any cells that are blue, those are proposed inputs. And then we have some cells that they are yellow that will let us enable calculating the measures and also they will determine if, um, if the calculations are done with simple, simple inputs or with trend data inputs. Um, and we have, uh, we will have several inputs so that we can uh, define correctly how the equipment operates, what kind of what kind of equipment we have, and what are the operating conditions for that type of equipment for both baseline and proposed. And the outputs will be baseline energy usage, energy efficiency measures, energy usage, and also uh, the savings, payback, ROI, and savings to investment ratios. And for the HVAC tool, we will focus on two examples. The first example is an office building. Uh, it is located in San Jose, and it's served by rooftop units. And then they have a centralized hot water system for heating. Pijani, one of their engineers, has gone to this facility, and they've done an audit uh, for their HVAC system. And they found that uh, the customer has potential for energy savings for scheduling optimization, economized optimization, hot water reset, and hot water pump VFD installation. And so what we will do with the example is that we will uh, show you how you need to uh, input in order to calculate the savings for these, for these measures. And then we will have a second example, this one a little bit more complicated uh, for a high-tech biotech customer in which we will be using 
uh, not only simple inputs, but also trend data inputs for those measures for which uh, the engineer has gone and gotten some, some information from the BMS system. In this case, uh, we want to show you how uh, Title 24 calculations are done with, uh, with the HVAC tool. So we are going to look at uh, replacing a chiller for this customer and also uh, installing BFDs on the condenser water pumps. And that's it.